Hey, welcome everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. And uh, we're going to play a game. Um, game five, right? Game five of the 1973 World Series. The Mets are up three to one, and it's been all about Mets pitching. In this game, we're going to have Kuzman versus Blue. And uh, when they last matched up, and I believe it was game two, Kuzman pitched a two-hitter. So let's put this underneath. And we're about to start the game. This is our chart book. Here's our dice. And let's do it. We're going to roll 2d6 for this game. Replay classic. And let's go. And so that's going to be a fielding column. It's going to be a 3 and 11. And the 3 is the third baseman. So that's an 11. And a 3 is a 14. 14 on column 4 back is an error. So it's a ground ball and booted by Garrett. E5. Campanaris is on base. Next batter is Rudy. With a two, a three, and a six is a strikeout. So Rudy continues in his slump. He's got one hit in the whole series. Bando's up next and is a six, a two, and a one is a 38. Struck him out. Back to back K's for Jerry Kuzman. A wily left hander. It's a five. That's a two. And a three is a seven. That's ball four. So that's two outs and two on now. Reggie walks again. Reggie has a ton of walks in the series. And here's Gene Tennis. Gene Tennis with good power. He homer had a great game one when the A's won, I think, nine to two maybe. And he had four hits in that game. Here's the pitch. And that's a 5-5. Five, five. It's a two and a 10. That's ball four. That's going to load the bases. So here in the top of the first, the A's have a good opportunity to score some runs. If J. Alou, I think his name is Jesus, but they wrote J on his card. And here's the pitch from Kuzman. And it's a two and a six, a seven, column one. That's going to be popped up. Right side, second baseman with the bases loaded, squares a strikeout. Struck him out, Matt. Ends the inning. No runs, no hits, two walks, and an error. And uh, the A's leave the bases loaded. Let's move down to the Mets. Wayne Garrett leads off. Two is a 37 column one ground ball. Second base up with it is green. Throws over to tennis. It's Mian is next. And that's a three and a one is a seven column three. And that is space hit to left. So Mian strokes a single to left field. He's on it first. Here's Rusty stop. One and a three. That's a two. A 37 column one. Ground ball halfway, second to first, double play. It's going to be a 4-6-3, double play, and that ends the inning. No runs, one hit, nobody left. Style grounds into a, into a double play, and here comes Fossey in the top of the second. And it's a 3 and a 5. It's a 7, column 2, and that's popped up. Foul territory behind the plate, and it's the catcher, Grody. The green is up. Pitch from Kuzman. A two and a two, that's a three. That's ground to the third baseman. Garrett up with it, fires a strike to Milner. And here's Vita Blue, pitcher hitting card for the American League. They had the first year of the DH. So this is going to be a, an error possibility with the shortstop. Shortstop error is a two, it's a seven. That's a ground ball handled by Harrelson. No runs, no hits, three up, three down. Easy inning for... Kuzman. Here comes Cleon Jones with a 5-5. Five, five. That's a 3, a 10. That's a base on ball. So Jones is on with a walk. Johnny Milner. Pitch to Milner. It's going to be a 23, column 3. And what is that going to be? A fly out to center field right there is... Jackson has some other information, so let me hold on. So 
that's a three. 23, 23 is a fly out runner scores from third. Okay. Terry Grody, one on. A five, that's a three. And a four is a one. That's a four. Column five, that's going to be to the second baseman halfway. It's going to be a fielder's choice. So Grody's on a first now. They get Jones a second, two out, one on. Here's Don Hahn. Blue, three, and a four is a 28, column six. 28, column six, and that's a single to center field. Runner will hustle to third. So a two-out single for Don Hahn. And now Harrelson up, pitch from blue. It's a four and a six is a four. That's the shortstop. And that's a six with the infield back and that's a ground ball to short and that'll end the inning so Harrelson bounces out to the shortstop Campaneris Mets with no runs one hit they leave a couple top of the third Campaneris Rudy and Bando here's Campy with a 1-6 that's a 2 that's a strikeout checks a swing holds up they check with the first base umpire but no he went around here is Rudy now with a three and a two, that's a 14. I will hope this is a single because he's got only one hit in the whole series and it's going to be a line out. It's ripped to third down the line and caught by Garrett. Garrett positioned perfectly against Rudy. And it's Bando with a two. And I believe that two is the second baseman. Second baseman with a two is a 21, and a 21 is going to be a ground ball and off the glove of Mion for a two out single for Bando. Here's Reggie Jackson with a six and a five. Uh oh, that's trouble. Jackson is a power hitter. That's a two and a five is an 18. That's a deep fly. Center field backing up is Han and to the track. No runs. One hit. And, um, 18 is not going to be a home run. It's a deep fly. I'm pretty sure it's a deep fly to center. I could be wrong. It could be a deep fly to right. And it is a deep fly to right. So my fault. Big deal. All right. So Jackson flies out. Drives it deep, but stays in the ballpark. Here's Jerry Kuzman. That's a one, and the shortstop is a three. That's a ground out to the shortstop. Kuzman is out, one away. Garrett. Two is a three, and a four is a five. Struck him out. So Garrett down swing. Chases a fastball outside the zone, a two two. That's a three. And a f uh, two two is a 14, I believe. Column two, and that is line drive to, to left. So Mian is two for two, two singles. Two out single for Mian, and here's Rusty Stop. Has good power. Ooh, and a 6-6. Six, six. That could be gone. 3-13. That's a deep drive to right. If it stays fair, it's gone. And home run, Rusty Stop. Picks up two RBIs. Big Rusty. Le Grand Orange. And uh, the Mets lead at 2-0. So the... The A's face elimination. Here's Clayton on Jones. And again, it's uh, fielding. And the five is to the shortstop. That's a 10 to the shortstop. And that's going to be ground ball and candle by Campanaris to end the inning. So two runs on two hits. The two-run homer by Rusty Staub. And here's Jerry Kuzman. I'm sorry, against Gene Tennis. Top of the fourth. So it's a five, it's a two, and a four, and that is a four ground ball to, I believe it's a second baseman. Next is Alu. Three and a four, and that also is to the second baseman, I believe. Short fly to left, that's what I said. <laughs> and Ray Fossey now with two outs. Snake Eyes, so that's a two and a 12. Column one, that's line, base hit, single for Fossey. <clears throat> Dick Green, 3-1, that's a 3, uh, 32, uh, 34, excuse me, column three. And that's going to be a double, may drive in a run, and it's going to be double to left, clears the bases. 
Oh, if the higher, if the left fielder, left fielder is a three, is higher than the runner, Fossey. Fossey is a three, so he will score. So RBI double here, and now the tying run is at second base, and it's Vita Blue. Pitch to Vita. That's a three and a two. That's a three, and a two is a 14. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Vita Blue may pick up a hit here, and no, he either rips it and caught by Garrett, L5. So one run on two hits, and it's two to one Mets, bottom of the fourth. Pretty good game going here. The Mets are up in the series, three to one. It's really all about Mets pitching. All right. Let's do it. John Milner, bottom of the fourth. Three and the two. That's a 23, column three. And that is fly out to center field. Jackson is there. Second time known as flat out the center. Jerry Grody's next. He into a fielder's choice in the second. It's a 4-2. That is a, it's a 1 and a 2. The 2 is the second baseman. And the second baseman, we said, so that's, a, that's a bouncer to green. He handles it throws Grody out. Don Hahn. With a six and a five, that's a three and a five. It's a 19, and that is a fly out to left field. Three up and three down. Go to the top of the fifth. Bird Campanaris leads us off. Jerry Kuzman with a three and a two. That's a three, and a two is a 22. Column three, 22, column three. And that is a fly ball to right. Joe Rudy with a five. That's a one. Third baseman is a four. And that's a bounce to the third. Charging is Garrett Barehands. It fires to first. And oh, it just gets Rudy. Bando. A one and a four. That's a two and a four. Struck him out. Three up and three down for Kuzman. Go to Bottom of the fifth, it's Harrison Kuzman. And then the top of the order, that's a four against the shortstop. Ball that's bounced to Campaneris. Picks it up and throws a strike over to tennis. Kuzman now. A three and a three, and that's a four. It's bounced to the second baseman. Green. Two down, and here's Wayne Garrett. Five and a two, that's a three, and a two is a four again. Another one up the middle, and Gar um, Green gets there, settle, sets his feet, and throws him out. Three up, three down, top of the sixth. Reginald Martinez Jackson leads off. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. Ooh, a six and a six, that's a two and 11. That ball is a deep drive to center field way back, and this game is tied. Reggie Jackson connects, takes his time around the bases. Showboating a little bit. And the fans of Shea don't like it. They're booing loudly. Here's Gene Tennis. And that's a two and a six. That's a three and a six is an eight. Column two. And that will be popped up. Foul ground. Second baseman. Near the stands. And it's F04. Alu now. Game is tied at two. A three and a five. That's a three. And the five is a 33. Column three, and that is lined and right at Rusty Stav and right. So Alu hit it on the screws, but drove it to right, but right at stop. And here's Ray Fossey with a five and a one. That's a two and a one. That's a five. That's ground at the third to end the inning. One run on one hit. It's all tied at two. Good game we got going here. <coughs> Excuse me, John, uh, Felix Miana leading off against Vita Blue. Oh, 6'6", six, six. that's a three, but me, me, I don't think I have any home runs. Even have any power. He used to choke up about a foot, about eight inches on the on the bat. So that's a three and a ten, and that's line base hit single. So Miana's three for three. Rusty Stav is next. 
and that's a four and a six. That's going to be a three, and the shortstop is a five halfway. This may be a double play. I think it is. And uh, what do we say? It was a, a five double play. It's going to be a six, four, three double play. So they wipe out Mian's single. Mian is having a good day. Three for three. Here's Cleon Jones, the pitch from blue. And that's, again, a 17 to the third baseman, three. That's a 20. And a 20 is going to be a ground ball fielded by Bando. And he throws out Jones, no runs, one hit, nobody left. Go to the top of the seventh inning. Now, both pitchers, if they allow a base runner, are going to turn around to their B column. Here is Dick Green, 3-3. Three, three. That's a 3 and 3. That's an 8. Column 3 is a single to center. So now Kuzman goes to his B column, east side. All right, here's Vita Blue, and Blue is going to bunt. <clears throat> Let's go to that sacrifice page. And that's going to help us. That's a three. It's going to go to the third baseman. Third baseman, so that's going to be a five altogether, and a five is going to be a good sacrifice. Five, four. So the go-ahead run is at second base here in the top of the seventh. Bert Campaneris, pitch from Kuzman. It's a five, that's a three. And then a two is a five. With the runner at third, ground ball to short. Um, we're not halfway because the runner's at second, so we're back out of first. Runner's advance only at four, so he will hold. And that's uh, two outs. And here's Joe Rudy. Joe Rudy is 0 for 3. He's got one hit in the whole series. Here's a pitch. And a 6 and a 2. That's a 3 and a 2. A 29, column 6. What's that going to be? I don't know. 29, column 6. Single to right field. Runner will score. And the A's have taken a 3 to 2 lead. Joe Rudy, he's like 1 for 15. Saves the day here in the top of the 7th in game 5. Sal Bando now. <clears throat> it's from Kuzman. It's a four. That's a one. That's a, uh, that's going to be a five. And uh, it's going to be to the first baseman, who is a three. So that's an eight. And that'll be a ground ball to Milner to end the inning. One run, big RBI single for Rudy. One run on two hits, and the A's have taken a 3-2 to two lead. Wow. All right, so here's Johnny Milner. Here's a pitch, and that's a 65. That's a 3, and the 39 struck him out. Milner chases, going for the downs. And Grody. Grody with a 3-6. That's a 3, and a 6 is a 22, column 3. And... That will be a fly out right field. Backing up a couple of steps is Alu. Grody flies out for the second out. And here's Han with a five and a five. That's a three. And the five is a seven column five. That's ball four. So now blue gets turned around. And it's Harrelson. Oh, no, it uh, should be Harrelson. Yeah, there he is. Let me see. Hold on. It was a three, whatever, it's a seven. It works. Okay, and here's Buddy Harrelson. A one and a two, that's a three and a two. Struck him out. That ends the inning, no runs, no hits, a walk. And we're going to try to get Kuzman through the eighth. Take a quick sip of lemonade. Slept all day. Remember, I'm recovering from a hip, a total hip replacement. So, I'm out of commission. I do nothing except uh, just read and watch some TV and uh, roll some dice. All right, Gino Martinez Jackson here on the top of the eighth against Guzman. Here's a pitch, and that's a three and a six. So, that's a three, and the six is a 22, column three. 
and a 22 column 3 is a flat to right. So he cracks one to right field and stop over near the line and makes a nice running catch. That's a 3 and a 5 is a 6. 6 column 3 and that is a short fly to center. Racing in is Han and he gets there. So tennis pops one up to shallow center field and a nice running catch by Han Alu with a 4 and a 6. And that's going to be a 2 and a six, and that's grounded to the shortstop Harrelson. He's up with it. High throw. Nice stretch by Milner. 3 up and 3 down. So we got Kuzman through that inning. And uh, now we're going to get a pinch hitter. Who are we going to call? Let's see. Who are the Mets going to call? That's the question. All right. I'm going to bring in uh, let Willie Mays hit. Why not? Eighth, he will lead off against Blue. Pitch, and it's a six and a one. That's a four and a 40. Struck him out. So Mays, in his twilight, strikes out here to lead off the bottom of the eighth. Next is Wayne Garrett, pitch from Blue. It's a four and a two. So we're looking at a two, and the two is the second baseman. That will be a bouncer to Green. Who makes the play? Two down. And Mian, three for three. Let's see if we can make it four for four. It's a four and a six is a six, column five. That's ball four. So Rusty stop now. And pitch from blue. And that's a one and a four. That's a three and a four. A seven. Column one will be popped up. Second base, middle infield green and Campanaris green calls off Campanaris and that retires the side. No runs, no hits. They leave one. The walk to Mion. And it's the top of the ninth. So we're going to get a new pitcher for the Mets. It's going to be Tug McGraw. You got to believe. Looking at the wrong. Grabbing the wrong team. All right, here comes Tug McGraw. So Kuzman went eight, and now it's McGraw and the pitch to Fossey. It's a six six. That's a three, and a six is a twelve. That's a draw. Oh, that's going to be a drive, I believe. And that ball is going to be over the fence. Home run. Big insurance run here. Ray Fossey comes up huge. So first pitch by McGraw. And Fossey drives it over the over the fence. Here's Green. It's a 5-5. Five, five, and that is a 4 and 11. And that's going to be a hit by pitch. Ouch. Green doesn't like it. Neither does Dick Williams. Pretty sure the 11 is a hit by pitch, and it is. So it's a home run, and McGraw retaliates and plunks Green. And Green has some choice words for McGraw. And here's the – here's Blue. We're going to let Blue go the distance. We're going to let him bunt. Let's get the sacrifice booklet. And it's a 5, so that's going to be to the pitcher. And that's a 15, so that's a 20, and that will be a pop-out to the third baseman. So Blue fails to advance the runner. And it's Burkamp and Aris with a 1 and a 4. That's a 2 and a strikeout. Second time Camp and Aris has struck out in this game. And Joe Rudy. With a six and a four, that's a three and a four. That's a 29, column six, and that'll be a base hit. So Green will move two bases. So uh, Rudy's bat has come to life here just in, in the nick of time. And now it's Bando. Pitch from McGraw. It's a six and a three. That's a three and a three is a 39. Struck him out. 
So one run on two hits. Four to two, we go to the bottom of the ninth. It's going to be Jones, Milner, and Grody. We're going to leave Blue in there for try to get him the complete game. And here goes Jones with a 5-5. Five, five. That's a 4 and 11. That's a hit by pitch. So <laughs> Blue retaliates for Green getting plunked by McGraw. And now the benches are going to clear, and here come the, here come the bullpens. And this, uh, this is going to take a little bit of time. There's a lot of pushing and shoving going on out there. And let's see if the umpires can get this under control. And there's a lot of, a lot of uh, hot tempers. You know, the, this is an elimination game for the A's, and the A's have uh, not gone down easily here. They've, they've fought back from a 2 nothing deficit to take a 4-2 to two lead. And I think everybody's, there'll be no ejections. Just everybody had to let off some steam. And here comes John Milner against Vita Blue. Here's a pitch. And that's a 2, a 3, and a 5 is a strikeout. So Milner... Chases a vital blue fastball. Jerry Grody's next. Here's the pitch. A five and a four. That's a four. And the four is a five. And that is Fielder's Choice, I believe, to the third baseman. I'm out uh, to the shortstop. Six four. Campaneris to green. And Grody's on it first. Here's Don Hahn. Pitch. A five and a three. That's a four. And the three is a seven. That's a base on balls. So the tying runs are on base, and Buddy Harrelson's up. And it looks like we're going to grab a pinch hitter for Harrelson. Uh, let's see who we're going to bring in. We're going to bring in Teddy Martinez. Teddy Martinez uh, also plays uh, all the infield positions. He will bat for Harrelson, who's 0 for 3. We're still sticking with Vita Blue. Here's a pitch, and that is a four and a one. That's going to be a one, which is a two, and it's, it's going to be to the first baseman. Gene Tennis bounces to Tennis, bobbles it for a second, but then gets it in the glove, steps on the bag, and the ball game is over. The Mets lose it by a score of four to two, no runs, no hits in that bottom of the ninth. What a game this was! Excellent game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And errors, no errors there. And one error for the Mets. Mets had one, two, three, four, five, five hits. So the A's, four runs, eight hits, no errors. The Mets, two runs, five hits, and one error. Vita Blue with a big W goes the distance. Allows only five hits. How many did he strike out? He struck out one there. Two, three, four, five strikeouts. Walks one, two, three, four. Runs two runs on a two run homer by Rusty Stop and a hit by pitch. No wild pitches, and he gets the, the W. The loss goes to Kuzman. I uh, pitched well, and McGraw gave up a run in the ninth, and also a hit batter. Actually, two hits there. Picked up two strikeouts. A hit by pitch. No homers, a run, an earned run, no walks. And uh, Kuzman pitched well. I mean, he allowed uh, six hits. Struck out uh, one, two, three, four, five. Struck out five. Walked one. Walked only one, gave up uh, three runs. Uh, one home run there. A double, and then a single, so one home run. No hit by pitch, and no wild pitches. All right, so interesting game. Now, this game really is, is very um, interconnected, Every, very fluid. Everything flows, and it's easy to remember. It all makes sense. 
you know, uh, there, there's no real kind of um, bumpy um, twists and turns and, and no major hurdles that slows down gameplay. It's very fluid. You start, you start rolling, you start playing, you start getting results, and you're just totally into the game. All right. Uh, it, it's, it's not like one part is created with uh, disassociated from the rest of the flow of the game. There's a lot of games out there, and I will be reviewing that just don't have that interconnection between the, 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 the pitcher batter interaction and then everything else that goes on whether it's stolen bases, whether it's base running, whether it's fielding, whether it's errors, whether it's range plays, all those things seem like separate games that ha have been patched onto the original batter-pitcher interaction. Anyway, I don't want to go into that now because I'll do more of that in my, uh, in my uh, reviews when I do that. And now we're going to game six. Game six will be Seaver versus hunter this is going to be an excellent game and uh this is tony porter cards and dice tv remember to um like and subscribe my channel critical that you do that and also remember to join universal baseball association facebook group all its affiliated groups we got the deep drive group we got the folk classic group we got the back to basics group we got a payoff pitch group we got lots of different groups and uh and i will see you guys very very soon so thanks for watching take care and this is Replay Classic 1973 cards.